Hello viewers, now welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first ever FIA race I've uploaded on YouTube. Now I uploaded this one purely because it is just an absolutely mental race. If you took part in this, I believe it was Wednesday, then you'll know how much of a mental race this is. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, oval circus of Gran Turismo, they're a bit different than not the usual, but they are, well, they're fantastic. They really put up for some good racing. As you're going to see in this video, it's just so tight for the whole race and it leads to some real real good race and a really really tight finish but there's a top five we don't care about the rest da -da 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 -da. yeah we don't care about that so let's go into the action now i've done what i've done here is i've saved the replay on grand Turismo, and then i'm just gonna voice over this just to show you you know the replay cameras because they are fantastic but i just want to get every angle from everyone's position so here we go we're off now and um, now what you need to be careful of on this video is the fact that the fuel is well it burns incredibly quickly I think the fuel's on times 10 to usual which is incredibly quick so you'll notice that I upshift quite a bit and I'm going to flick through the different cars during this video so you can keep an eye on how much fuel we're all using because fuel is vital in this race because you can't go bang out if you're in first place then you're in trouble really because you need to save fuel but if you're in first you've got no one to slipstream so it's going to cause you a lot of issues so in this race I'm just going to take my time I'm going to try and stick behind in the slipstream if I can. Shift early, as you can see, little rev counter just above the miles per hour and the what gear I'm in. You want to make sure that doesn't completely fill up. You just want to change before the end, saving yourself some fuel because that is vital. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to slowly zoom in on the fuel there. So you can see the fuel gauge. So you can see it's pretty full right now, but you can see how quickly it's already going down. So in the pit stops, it's going to be vital how much fuel I can save so I'm spending less time in the pits get myself out if I spend too much time in there I'm going to come out behind the rest of the guys and I'm not going to get the slipstream and I'm just going to fall back so it's really important that I keep with these guys here I keep my fuel high but I also manage to stick with them as well so during this race like I said earlier I'm just going to make sure that I manage my fuel quite well I feel like in the first stint it's quite important in the second stint you know until you get to the last lap that's really when it's going to count but you're going to have you know a good 12 12 laps or so to try and manage the fuel you know, make sure you've got enough of that final lap attack, which is what you're going to need. So during this race, like I said, stick behind them, save my fuel, change gear early, and see what I can do. Oh dear, what was that? Doesn't matter anyways, because that has made me jump up to third place. Lovely. That is exactly what you want to see. So when you see people fighting in front of you, you always want to make sure you just stay back a little bit. And just make sure if they do make a mistake, that you can pounce, because it can make a big difference. As you can see there, I've got two moves for basically nothing, I didn't do anything, I just took the normal racing line, those two were fighting, and look what happened, I managed to take two places, now we're to third place, so we started fifth, we're up to third already, but that's not about the position right now, because it's always about how much fuel you're going to save in this race, so let's just crack on with this race, and let's see what we can do with the fuel. So folks, at this point in the race, I just want to quickly go through the different cars that are in the race and see what their fuel's like. So you can see mine right now, but if we start flicking through the other cars, you can see there's all sorts of different levels to see how much fuel people are saving compared to mine. But more so, as I go through the different cars that are in this race, I'm just going to show you how close this is. This is ninth place after four flaps. We're almost on the fifth lap. As you can see, look how close that is. It's ridiculous. Oval racing on Gran Turismo. Really good. I hope they do more of it, to be honest, because it's... Well, it's great racing and as you can see even if you're back in 16th you still get the feeling that you could get a good result even though you are this far back so as you start to go forward again I'm just going to take an eye on this Merc as he goes for a dive on the inside and this hand decides to back out of it Merc sticks on the inside just going to flick through these guys again checking their fuel levels to see what they're out but as you can see as we go a bit more forward as you can see I have taken the lead of the race which is not exactly what I wanted to do but on that first corner I was just nailing the apex really well which caused me to have a really good exit and made sure that I overtook the guys on the outside because if you're on the outside in the first corner you can't really go anywhere until you're back on the straight again and it's too late and I've already taken them. So I've taken first now. Now what I ideally wanted to do was for this guy to overtake me but what he did do is just kept nudging in the back of me. Now the idea of this is that so he can stick with me in first place and try and pull away from everyone else. That's the idea and at the same time he's doing that he's saving fuel. Now I'd rather be this guy instead of being the first because I'm out ahead and I'm basically using more fuel than anyone else. So it's it's not the best situation to be in but 
which is a strange thing to say when you're leading race, but it's such a strange race this circuit was, and this FIA race is the last place you wanted to be really was in first with so early on in the race because you didn't want to burn as, as I keep saying, <laughs> you don't want to burn as much fuel as, as I am right now. So let's skip to lap seven now. As you can see, I've dropped back to second place because like I said earlier, I want to be the guy in second pushing the guy along in first so I can get some good speed and make sure that I'm changing my gears early. Um, I've switched to uh, the replay camera, which as you can see, it just makes the racing look fantastic. I mean, you can almost see every single car there. I think you basically can on that straight. And the replay cameras on this game are beautiful. The angles you can get are fantastic. They're by far and away the best I've seen on a racing game, as you can see here. It just looks brilliant. It really, really does look super smart, super clean. Um, yeah, just superb from Gran Turismo. Um, 10 out of 10 for their replays. Uh, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, um, and it brings out great content for you guys to have a look at. But you can see the top five there, so close, really, really close. So we're starting to break away a little bit, um, which is a good thing, it's not a bad thing. If we can start breaking away from the people behind, then we will have a lot better chance than finishing in the top five, which is where you want to be. In these FIA races, um, if you're in the top split, which is what these are, I think they're divided into three categories, um, first, second, first split, I think we're in the third split here. But anything in the top five, you'd normally get over 200 points, which in the FIA races is really, really good. Uh, I think over 200 points, then you can't be too disappointed in yourself, really. So let's just take this opportunity to have a quick rundown of what's going on so far. Um, we've got Magic Mike in first. We've got me in second in the Lexus. Magic Mike in the Ferrari, obviously. Uh, we've got the two French lads behind us. One is in the Renault, uh, and it looks like the other one is in the Toyota. And then just sitting behind him in fifth place, is Heisenberger in the Jaguar F-Type of all cars. But this race is still anyone's for the taking. I just want to quickly mention this bit of replay here because it looks gorgeous. Look at this. It looks fantastic. And then we'll look at that. Look how close that is going over the line. If the race finishes like that, you know, that is going to be a grandstand finish. It will look fantastic. Now that we are 10 laps in, it's going to get to the business end now where people are going to start thinking about pitting. If you pit too early in this race, you're not going to come out behind someone else to get the slipstream so it can ruin your race. So you've really got to think about when the perfect time is to pit. I'd normally say about lap 12, 13, but in this instance, I'm just going to keep following the guy in the first to make sure I just re react to whatever he does, basically. And because he's been in the lead now for the majority of this race, it means that when he goes and does his pit stop, he's going to be refueling significantly longer than what I will have to do. So that should bring me out in front and give me plenty of space ahead so he doesn't get the slipstream so I can just try and pull away from the rest of the pack. But I just quickly noticed that Ozil there has somehow got himself a 10 second penalty. God knows what he's done for that. But the way penalties work in Gran Turismo is that he won't get that time added to the end. It'll have to slow down in an allocated spot on the track and it'll have to slow down for 10 seconds. Now on a track like this, when you're doing about, on average, about 160 miles an hour each lap, 10 seconds of slowing all the way down to around 60 miles per hour, it is going to be worth more than 10 seconds. It's going to kill your race. He is, he's out of it basically, I'm sorry, but he's gone. Um, there's no point in him continuing, if I'm honest, if I was him, I probably would have left because there's no point. He's going to finish dead last after that. I don't know how he's going to get any sort of result, decent points from there, but there you go. So then, as we can see, we're now on lap 12. This is really getting crucial now. As you can see, my fuel's just over a quarter of a tank. So I've got a good maybe two, three laps left of me. Now, I know the Ferrari's been in the lead for a while, so he's not going to be able to survive for too much longer. The question is, is he going to pit on this lap or is he going to pit on the next lap? So I'm going to stick behind him right here. I'm just going to react to whatever he does. So as we come around the last corner, let's just see what he decides to do. I probably would have gone in the pits for him, but no, he's decided to stay out gives me an extra lap of fuel saving so let's crack on see if he pits in the next lap I'll be amazed if he doesn't pit on for lap 30 I don't know how he's going to get to even lap 40 I may have even got to this point to be honest I, I feel like his fuel saving has been been pretty poor been pretty shabby because he's been in the lead for so long but he's done really well to stay in the lead as we have a look here look at his fuel gauge this he must be coming in this lap he can't do another lap you can compare it to mine uh, mine's a lot better than what his is so in the long run I seem to do quite well let's have a look at P3 for they're kind of similar and it, yeah if you look at p1s it's much worse so lap 13 here we go he must be coming to pits otherwise he's just gonna run out of fuel uh, and that will kill him so as we come around the last corner lap 13 is he gonna go into pits yes he is right let's just follow him then so this is crucial this is a pit stop this can win or lose you the race 
Um, on this race, very rarely, you don't want to change the tyres. All you want to do is put fuel in it. You can see my percentage is going up slowly. You can see that on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to slightly under fuel, get myself out. And as we pull out the pits, let's just quickly have a look around us. It's looking good. I can't see anyone behind us right now um, on the mini-map. It's looking good. We're ahead. We've got some clean air. I've got no slipstream, which is annoying, but there is P2, essentially. Uh, we've dropped down P5, 6, we pitted. Um, but GTS Willow, now, he, early in the race, he was about 7th or 8th. He wasn't really in it. But since Ozil got that penalty, um, he's done really well. He's stuck with us. He's fuel saved a lot. Um, and now he's jumped, essentially gone up to P2. Uh, Ludo was the guy behind us. He's now dropped down a few places. And there's GTR Mike and uh, Magic Knight. There he is right there. He's now in 8th. So if we skip back to me, look. So I've made up quite a lot of time compared to the guys behind me now it's crucial that I managed to stay ahead as you can see uh, the other three players that didn't pit on the previous lap have now pitted so I've now essentially taken P1 currently P2 as uh, Coach X has decided to stay out um, how much longer he stays up for I don't know but he's done he's done very well because he's on lap 15 and he hasn't decided to pit yet so we'll see what happens I am theoretically P1 I've just got to wait for him to stop but uh, GTS Widow here he's going to desperately try and get into my slipstream um, I'm going to try my best uh, to break it but it's going to be really hard because I've still got the idea that I could run out of fuel so I need to make sure that I'm not a dick um, race well and don't abuse 5th um, and 6th gear basically and keep it nice and calm and collected and make sure that I take the victory so as you can see uh, the German has gone in the pits now um, he's just about to come out but he's done very well um, look he's coming out there so he's essentially P2 now for staying out a bit longer so he's done very well there um, excellent strategy I never thought that worked really staying out an extra three four laps but it certainly worked for him um, the idea now is that these guys keep fighting behind me and I can just pull away uh, fingers crossed but the next few laps are going to be crucial if I can keep them on my slipstream and they keep fighting uh, then we'll be away we should take the victory which is going to be nice uh, a victory in the top split would be lovely I haven't had one in a very long time um, but on this track I feel like I'm doing really well uh, I've managed my race perfectly to be honest but yeah, let's see what happens in the next few six or seven laps. So, yeah. Now, as I exit out of the first corner, I just start to realise that the guys behind me are starting to catch me up. That GTR on a straight line is quick. And now I think he's just got my slipstream, as you can visibly see here. He really is starting to catch me now. And there's nothing, not a lot. I can do here if I start putting my foot down even more I'm just gonna I'm not gonna make it to the end of the race so as you can see look at that look at the slipstream there one lap ago I was easily a second ahead and now he's just got in my slipstream he's right behind me again so I've brought these boys in unfortunately my strategy has not worked because I've not been able to pull away um, and this is just gonna mean that the top four we're just gonna be fighting it right to the very end it's lap 18 we've got six laps left uh, let's see what we can do so he goes on goes on the inside already um, I'm going to stick it to the outside. I am now just going to stick behind it for the next couple of laps because I want to save my fuel because I've, I've went ahead um, just to see if I can really pull a gap. I couldn't. It cost me um, on my fuel, so I'm going to have to make sure that now I spend the next couple of laps saving up again um, to make sure that I can have enough for the final attack, which is what I ideally want. So this guy in first now uh, is going to be using more than what I am. Um, so let's see what happens. Uh, the top four... I don't know, maybe a second between us, which is just absolutely crazy. To think you're 18 laps into a race and the top four are just separated by about a second or so. Um, crazy, absolutely crazy. But here we go. Uh, lap 19 now, so just five laps to go. It's going to start getting quite tense soon. You're going to see a lot of people getting desperate, you know, making desperate lunges, desperate moves to make up those final positions. I just really want to stick with this guy at first now. I do not want to lose this guy's slipstream. Uh, the problem with my car compared to the two Nissan GTRs is their top speed is really good. Uh, mine is good, but theirs is, uh, they're one of the fastest cars in the game, top end wise they are. They're really quick, so if I lose the slipstream, I'm going to fall back quite quickly. So let's quickly jump aboard with me then, uh, see what I'm doing. I'm just behind him here uh, in fifth gear, um, getting up to about 160, 170 miles an hour. Uh, I'm going to jump to the guy first. He's on about 170, 178 miles per hour. Jump back to me. I'm on 180. So even though I've got that slipstream, uh, the top speed of that GTR is so good that I can't really do anything about it. And as we look in fifth place, you can see we've pulled away now. So it looks like it's just going to be a battle between us in the top four. Um, so let's see how this plays out. I'm a bit nervous for this one because I've really done well, I think. I've managed the race superbly. Uh, it'll be gutting 
gutting if I can, you know, drop out of the top four or whatnot after all the racing and all the good racing that I've done so far. Yeah, uh, talk about heartbreaking, geez. So, as we enter lap 21, just three laps to go. Uh, the German lines me up here on the inside, I'm on the outside. Not too much we can do. I've got the slipstream of the guy ahead, which helps me a lot. And I just managed to cut in front of him, which is a good defensive move. I hit the apex lovely. means I'm still ahead and I can still get the slipstream of NLR Ludo here, the Frenchman here. So let's see if we can just get closer now. I'm deciding whether to go for it or not. It's a bit iffy, but this is really now starting to get really, really tense. So this is it then, just two and a half laps remaining. The music starts to play. This is getting really intense now. I really, really, really want to win this race. I'm going to do my absolute best to win this. I'm going to be a little bit cheeky. I'm going to attack what I can and get behind this guy. Make sure that I am as close as I possibly can be for a move into turn one. Do I think about it? And I'm like, no, it's just, it's just too close. This is hazards on. Um, just kind of unnerves me. I can't. Really, I don't really think of what to do, so I just decide to stay behind him. Uh, and it leads to the next corner here. Again, he puts his hazards on. I'm not really sure what he's thinking. So I look at his stats. He looks fine. P3 is now coming into play. This is going to get really, really tight. He starts to barge me out of the way. Drops me into P3, which is exactly not what I wanted. So those two are now going to start fighting. I'm just going to stick to the racing line, hoping that one of these two barge into each other and it will leave a little area and I'll be able to sneak up into P1, but they seem to get through that corner unarmed. So let's just attack again. Here we go. Last lap of the race. It's all come down to this. Here's P4. The other two move out of the way. I've lost the slip through. They come back in again. This guy looks on the inside. Is he going to take me on the inside? He is just about to get past me. So now I'm on the last lap. Now suddenly down to P4. This is not looking good. And we start to barge. We really want the slip through from the guys ahead. So we really start fighting. He barges me to the right. I barge him to the left. I want to get the slip through. So now I've got it. I should be able to pull away. As you can see, I've just got the slip through. So now here we go. Two quarters to go. This is it, so we get up to the last corner. I go for the dive bomb on the inside, I've got it. I've got these two here, I've got on the inside. That's exactly where I want to be. I'm going to be on the last straight. Here we go. It's going to be a drag race all the way to the end now. Come on, let's see if we can win this. Oh no, I've run out of fuel. I have fucking ran out of fuel. There it is, oh my God. I don't fucking believe this. I've finished in P3 after all that hard work. Somehow I finished in P3. One of the guys ahead must have got a penalty. I, after all that, I finished P3, I run out of fuel. So let's just watch this replay then. As we look back at lap 23 with just two corners to go, last corner here, I managed to get up on the inside. It's looking good here, but just looking at my fuel gauge, you can see I'm desperately low. So we are this tight. We go on the outside, it's a penalty, and at this point here, as I slow it down, I just run out of fuel. I start losing speed, the top three guys go ahead of me and there they are, look how close this finish is. That guy comes first and I cross the line, thanks to the penalty, I get a P3 thankfully. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care everyone. Ta-da.